Okay, in this video, in this video, we're going to solve a system of inequalities using our Get More in Math page here. So I'm going to grab, make sure you have scrap paper with you, but I have this system of the inequalities. And we're going to graph the first inequalities boundary line. So instead of rewriting it, you know it's going to be y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 1. So 1 is the y-intercept. Boom. It's a negative 1 fourth slope. So down 1, right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Tap. And it does say less than or equal to. So I have a solid line. I'll keep it that way. Now I need to graph the other, the other boundary line for the second inequality of this system, because there's two of them. All right, so now I need to, I have a y-intercept of one, so it has the same y-intercept as the other one right there, and the slope is two, so up two, right one. So I have these two boundary lines. Now I need to think to myself, self, which way do I shape? Where's the overlap? So let's go back to the first inequality, one at the top, and I'm going to test 0, 0. So if I put a 0 in for y, and I put a 0 in for the x, negative 1 fourth times 0 plus 1, I get 0 here, and I get a positive 1 here, Zero is less than one, so that is true. So I want to shade everything going this way. Now for the other inequality, I'm going to test zero, zero. Let me use red this time. I'm going to test this. I'm going to go over here and test zero, zero. Put a zero in for y, zero in for x. Again, I'm writing it all out so you can see what I'm doing. But you should be able to do that in your head. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Is 0 greater than 1? The answer is no. 0 is not greater than 1. So for the second equation, the second line, second inequality actually, go to the boundary line and you would shade the opposite way, not towards 0, 0, but the opposite way. Now, to solve the system of inequalities, I need to go to the area which is shaded with both, the blue and the red. So I change my menu to shade, and I notice it's over here that's shaded with both. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and erase all that work just so you can see what I shaded here. Now, if I did it correctly, when I hit that green check mark, should be good. Oh, I need to change it to my pointer tool. Come on. Get a little delay on my computer. There we go. And it worked. So I'll do another one with you. So again, it's important to start out by graphing each of the boundary lines. So here's my system. The first one is y equals 3 fourths x, so the y-intercept is a 0, so it's right on the origin. And it has a slope of 3 fourths, so rise 3, 1, 2, 3, right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Tap it, and notice it only has a greater than, so I don't want a solid line, because the boundary line makes both sides equal, and in this one it can't be equal, so I tap that, make a dot it. Now, before I move on to the second one, I think about what would I shade here. And if I tested 0, 0, 0 on this side is greater than 3 fourths times 0 is 0. Oh, well, I can't use that because the origin is on the line, and we know that's not going to work. So I would use, I should use, another order pair. Let's use 1 and 1. Or... Better yet, let's use, let's use 0, 2, where x is 0, y is 2. So I put a 2 where the y is, and a 0 where the x is, so it's 3 fourths times 0. So 2 is greater than 0, of course it is. So I know I would shade this one going this way. So that's just the first equation. Now for the second equation, change it to blue. 
The second, then again, it's an inequality. I look at the equation for that line. The y-intercept is negative 3. So I need my tool here. Yep. And I have a positive 3, 4 slope. So it would rise 3, run 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it includes an equal sign. So I want a solid line there. And now I want to see which way to shade. So I'm going to grab my pen tool with blue. And I'm going to substitute in 0 for y. I'm going to test 0, 0. And we're going to put a 0 in for x. And 0 times 3 fourths is 0. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Is 0 less than negative 3? 0 is greater than negative 3. So 0, 0 doesn't work. So I would shade in the opposite direction. So in this problem, are there any overlapping ordered pairs that work for both? Remember, we're solving a system, not just one inequality. We're solving two. And the answer is no. So let's take a look. Look at the choices I have. No shared points. So I have no place to shade. So I don't use anything. I don't use the, the shade tool at all. I don't want to shade anywhere because I'm going to get rid of all that work I did on top of my graph there. And I know there's no ordered pairs that work for both. So definitely you want to go down here and you want to tap on no shared points. So I do that and it worked. One more. One more. Do it quickly. Here we go. So I need first inequality. The equation is y equals 3. Well, if y equals 3, the y-intercept is at 3. And y is always 3. So the y is always 3 at another point here. So it's going to be a horizontal line. And it includes the equal, so I'll keep it solid. And then my, I have to shade, I have to shade, I'm going to try 0, 0. Well, if I put a 0 in for y, it's 0 less than 3, it is. So I would shade everything going down. Because the origin, 0, 0, would make that true. Because in the origin, the y is 0, and 0 is less than or equal to 3, which is what that inequality is looking for. Now I go to the second inequality, this one right here. Its y-intercept is a positive 3 right there. And it has a negative 4 thirds slope. So down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 3, 1, 2, 3, tap. Should get my line. It has equal to with the greater than, so it's a solid line. And now I'm going to test 0, 0. 0 greater than or equal to. Now negative 4, 3, 4 thirds times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. Is 0 greater than 3? No. So 0, 0 does not work for that one. So I want to shade everything going this way. And I'm looking for the space that is shaded with both the blues and the reds. So I tap on the shade tool, and I'm going to shade right in there. I'm going to shade right in there where it overlaps. So let me erase my, my pen tool, and let's see now if this is true. Nice. Good luck with that.